Hey guys, welcome back to Pine Haven Acres. So today I thought I would show you how I sometimes help my does breed when they don't want to lift. So I've got a little Holland Lop here and I'll show you what I do. So when you're breeding, you always bring the doe to the buck's cage, but sometimes for whatever reasons, Sometimes the doe doesn't want to lift up her tail so the buck can breed her. So what happens sometimes for me personally is I'll have a couple days that I need to get the rabbit bred so that it's perfectly scheduled um, when they're born, uh, when I wean the doe, when, I, when the next show is, etc. So I need to get her bred within a couple days and if she's not willing to be bred um, and she won't lift for the buck, then I sometimes need to intervene and help her. So what I'll do is I'll have the buck here on the table. So I'm basically doing what's called table breeding. I take them both out of the cages and I have them set up here. And I'll lay her out flat, as flat as she can go. And I'm gonna put my hands under her back legs and lift like this. Sometimes I'll have to tuck her uh, head into my arm to keep her secure. And then I'll just pull out her back legs and lift her up like this. And I'll get a closer shot of this. But once she's lifted up, it's basically the same position as if she were lifting for a buck on her own. Um, and then sometimes if the buck still can't breed with her, I'll use one hand to lift up her tail and another hand to keep lifting up her hips. And 99% of the time they can get the job done. Uh, one of the silver fox litters that I have right now, um, that breeding was done with this method. There's also another method called the string method and that's where you tie up the tail. Um, you tie the tail and then go around the hips and around the belly and that holds up the tail while the doe is in the buck's cage. I don't really like that method because I feel like if you tie it too tight the tail like the fur in the skin could just easily pop off the shaft of the tail but I know plenty of people that have done it successfully this is just what I choose to do um, so a lot of times I have to do it for my Holland laps because the does are a little stubborn um, but it works for bigger rabbits too and just thought that I would share that with you thank you guys for watching So I'm going to grab her hips using all of my fingers, the thumbs stay on the outside. I lock her head in my arm like a football. I'm going to elongate her body and then raise up her hips and I'm using my thumbs to press down gently on her spine to keep the hips up in the air. So if she needs her tail lifted as well, then I'll get her situated lift her up and then I'll use my hand to grab her tail and hold it like that and then the buck will mount and usually they don't mind my hands being in the way um, they get their job done and that's what I do